This video is all about yard long beans. Starting with saving and sowing the seeds. Building the trellis. Fertilizing and pest control for the long beans. Three special ways to protect long beans from aphids. Choose bean pots that are fully matured and ripened on the plant. At this stage, the seeds are easily visible as swollen parts of the fruit. The fruit will appear slightly shriveled as the pots are drying up. The seed pots have to completely dry out before the seeds can be collected for replanting. They can be laid out to dry in the sun. If left indoors, it might take two weeks to dry out completely. The fully dried pots are then shelled and the seeds collected. The best way to preserve the seeds is to store them in a cool, dark and dry place. To keep the seeds viable for longer periods, it is best kept in airtight containers so as to keep out the moisture and humidity. When preserved properly, seeds will remain viable for at least 3 to 4 years. Yard-long bean seeds are generally sowed 1 inch deep into the soil. However, soaking the seeds overnight will help in the germination. They can be sowed directly into the ground or in nursery bags as I have done. This I did as a matter of convenience as I can easily reposition my plants when necessary. Long bean vines are vigorous growers. Vines can quickly develop up to 12 feet long within a short period of time. As such, a trellis has to be built to accommodate the vigorous vines. For me, I prefer to train my long bean vines on a low trellis and keep pruning the vines when they reach the top. By maintaining the vines on a low trellis, harvesting becomes much easier. The routine checking for pests and spraying of insecticides also becomes less time consuming. This is how I set up the trellis for my long bean vines. I am using here an old discarded window grill as the frame for my trellis. Since I have many of these window grill sets, I am using them to make a simple trellis. First, I hammer down two poles into the ground. I also make sure the two poles are set deep enough into the ground. Then, I tie the window grill set to the vertical poles. This is the easiest way I found to set up my trellis. Done like this, my window grill set remains vertical even under heavy storm. After setting up the trellis, I prepare the ground by loosening the soil first. Long beans grow well in compass and rich, well-drained soils and in full sun sites. Here, as you can see, my soil on the ground is average clay. So, this is one of the reasons I choose to plant the long beans in large nursery bags and then transfer them in situ on the ground. Like this, I can manage better the soil and fertilizer going into the nursery bag. There are many drainage holes on this bag and this keeps the soil well drained around the plant. Once the nursery bags are positioned into their individual spaces, I then train all the vines onto the trellis. I also make sure the bags are firmly set in the ground. Here, I am using my homemade natural fertilizer, dried and powdered banana peels. This banana peel fertilizer is so convenient to use as it can be applied directly on top of the soil. Banana peel fertilizers are very rich in potassium. Potassium encourages both fruiting and flowering. Banana peels also contain calcium which is a vital nutrient for fruiting plants. As the peels slowly decompose, they will release nutrients into the soil to feed the growing long bean plants. 
Loosening the top soil after applying fertilizer will help in easier absorption of the nutrients. Nitrogen rich fertilizers are not required for beans as they are all legumes. Legumes have the ability to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. They have nitrogen fixing bacteria in their root nodules. This reduces their need for nitrogen fertilizer. Too much nitrogen, however, will create lots of green leaves and much less fruits. This means potassium rich banana peels are excellent for the long bean plants. Finally, watering the plants in their new location. How to produce more beans than wines? Long beans are vigorous growers. They need constant pruning and redirecting of the wines on the trellis. Pruning encourages more flower bud formation. For non-pruned long beans, the wines will overtake the fruits. We will have a lot of wines but very little fruits. When the wines reach the top of the trellis, I usually remove their tip. This encourages the main wine to produce more side wines which can then be redirected on the trellis. With good pruning, we can make the long beans to produce more beans than wines. For healthy growth and eventually for a good harvest, the long bean wines need to be checked routinely for pests. The number one pests affecting beans are aphids. Aphids are actually tiny black bugs sucking on the plant juices. Aphids diminish the vigor of the plant, thereby reducing the yield of the plant. They are usually found in clusters on bean stems, petioles, flowers and fruit pots. Infested pots are usually distorted and curled up. Why do I have so many aphids on long beans? There are a number of valid reasons causing this. Aphids usually show up on plants that are under some sort of stress. This could be from drought or heat stress. It could also be due to overwatering or over fertilizing. Luckily, aphids are one of the easier pests to manage if we catch them early before their colonies grow too large. Hence, the importance of frequent inspection. If unchecked, within a day, the aphid colonies can increase drastically and ruin especially the flower stalks and young fruits. My three special ways to protect long beans from aphids. Usually, when I first stumble on a colony of aphid, I do a very mean thing. Yes, I destroy them by pressing them with my fingers. Aphids are soft-bodied insects with low mobility. They can be easily squashed with the fingers and destroyed. My second best practice to control the aphid colonies is by using these two ingredients. Wood ash and pesticide powder. The mixture of these two ingredients is then sprinkled on the affected bean plant. This mixture also keeps the ants away. The final and the best of the best practice for aphid control is by spraying the bean plants persistently with this magic concoction. To make this magic concoction, you don't need to be a wizard. Very simple ingredients indeed. Water and liquid soap is all that's necessary to drive the aphids away. That is, a few tablespoons of liquid soap diluted in a liter of water. This is the simplest way to make a natural aphid killer spray for aphid infestation. Soap washes off a protective coating on the aphid body causing it to dry out. In this way, aphid control is achieved easily. That's all my friends. Thanks for watching till the end.